Dovetail Games, we're like Marvel with all the trains. Dovetail Games, believe or something. Right, let's skip all this business. Hi, friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and uh, this is the Train Sim World uh, doing uh, Boston to uh, to Providence, and uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be Ben Afflecking this bad boy right up. We're in the ACS something or other, 64. Yeah, well, one of these. Woo, mama. And uh, it's, I think it's an ACS 60, if I'm probably wrong. Uh, let's turn some stuff on. Let's uh, flash me ditch lights, because that's always, that's the way that we use them. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, wait, hold on. I've got a bunch of stuff I still need to do. Slap that in, uh, and then uh, stick that in forwards, because that will help. I reckon the panto's already up, probably. Uh, it's behind you. Yeah, it is. I have got it set to rear. You're not wrong. Uh, and console desk light off. Cab light. Oh, no, don't want a cab light. Uh, give me that. Console light on. Sweet. And then we'll uh, we'll fire up the HEP. Yeah. Go on. Get fired up, you. Uh, anyway, we are. We are running from Boston uh, down to uh, down, a, down a Providence, uh, taking in the sights and the sounds and all of the other things that you'd take in. Uh, on this bit of rush hour action. I'll catch you after the bombastic intro. Right, it's gone well, because uh, it, it do doesn't want to go. Hang on, I've got all of that off. Yeah, I've got all that off. Uh, yeah, yeah, braking, yeah. Give me the power. No, I've, I have avoided pressing one button I haven't pressed. Oh, I don't know what it is. Put the panto up. Let's check the panto is up. Panto activated. Okay, good. Oh, maybe I need no, no. Circuit brake is closed. That's that's a good thing. That's the thing we need. Uh, brake mode, no. Uh, brake mode is in test. I want it in passenger. Don't want it in test. Test doesn't do me any good. There you go. My brake cylinders are all doing their business now. Right. Let's uh, try it now. There you are. Right. Well, we're already a minute and a half behind schedule. Uh, I've no idea how how severe the uh, the penalization is going to be for exceeding the speed limit but i would quite like to be on time for at least a station at some point during this run so i'm going to rock this forward at uh, a bit more than i should do don't worry about that okay it's that's it's a safe it's a safe way to proceed i know what the track's capable of um the fact that i've got acses lit in the bottom corner says that operation spoil sport might be enabled. I don't know that for certain, and so uh, I'm going to chance it. This is me chancing it. There you go. The passengers are all going, oh gosh, we appear to be in a hurry this morning. I go, yeah, I am. It's because I, I hadn't pressed the necessary buttonage in order to make us go from the get-go. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to foil the laws of the rail a little bit until such a time as we're, uh, we're on schedule again, and then I'll behave myself. Because people get upset if you don't behave yourself, you see, and uh, and therefore behaving yourself is the thing you should do. But I'd rather be on time every time, given a chance. I'm not even ripping it. I'm just I'm casually exceeding the speed limit by just enough to make it uh, worthwhile. I've got to stop here anyway. You know what? We've got plenty of time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now put put that back to neutral. Use these brakes. I've I've done one test run with this so far. Where are you? Don't put neutral. Thank you. Brakes. And uh, and let me tell you, the brakes need you to have booked it in your calendar ahead of time, uh, to uh, to have accepted the uh, the invitation to that conference call, uh, because otherwise you're you're not going to make it on time. Because it's a, it's a big old train, and uh, and therefore it doesn't it doesn't stop uh, on a dime. No, it, does, it doesn't even stop on quite a few dimes lined up over the course of half a mile. Uh, it, it, no, it stops on a piece of rail, primarily. Anyway, here we are. We're coming into Boston Back Bay Track 1, which is not its not the catchiest name uh, of a station I've ever come across. But, yeah, that's, that's okay. And I, and I have made, now I've made up the time in one, in one fell swoop. I mean, doing double or indeed triple the speed limit will do that for you. Um... Yeah, it's pro tips there. Pro I don't know what this joker's playing at. He's uh, he's either stopped just a smidge early, which is one of my special moves, uh, or he stopped uh, 
very very late I suspect given that uh, he's, he's running the uh, the other line he's going in the opposite direction I should probably stop shouldn't I there you go brakes all of it go on bang all the brakes on there you go near enough yeah that's good now that's uh, that's good enough for uh, uh, for a government job uh, where am I well I don't know it's, uh, it's funny you should ask us zip over the, uh, we're seeing scenery but they just, I went under some car and, oh it's a skate park beautiful is it or is it just some lump and concrete I don't I don't know but let's let's get back into here this joker stopped in the tunnel I don't I don't exactly know what uh, what his what his dilemma is let's have a let's have a quick look you're right over there I could open the doors on this side if you like you could jump across and get into a train who knows what's up well, I mean, obviously the train doesn't know what's up, but I, the driver, certainly do. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave them there. They're just gonna, they're just gonna suffer it. Yeah, there you go. Plenty of people all going where they're going. Lovely. Smash it. I could probably go and look at the. Oh, actually, I haven't got time. I, no, I have got time. I've got a minute and a half. Um, I, d I just want to find out where I'm going. Uh, right. Stopping at Route 128. Okay. Providence and. Roanoke formed of eight curls. Okay. This yeah. service is operated by Amtrak. Whew, I mean it's a it's a page turner, I'll give you that. Come on. What's what's next? Where are we stopping? Yeah, oh here we go, here we go. Here's the good bit. Right. Yeah. Stopping at there you go, I'll zoom in for you. Route 128, yeah, Providence, and Roanoke. Really? I've got that few stops? Oh, this is going to be a breeze. Okay, fine. Let's go and see if I can get some bonus points while I'm in the zone. Uh, I can go I can go until about 30 seconds past. Yeah, 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 I'll be fine. What am I, what am I caught on here? Just, I, I tripped over a loose paving slab or some such. Deal with the bin? No, the bin's all good. I'm not entirely sure what the deal with it options are on this one, but uh, I dealt with the bin pretty well. Better health. It's just around the corner. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, I think public service uh, kind of information for you. There. I'm going to be late. It's all right. No, no, this one's on me. I've got a thousand points. Now, that feels like I might have actually got maximum points to this stage. No, I don't want to give up control. I'm off on a wander. Um... Uh, so, uh, so maybe I did not get unjustly penalised for uh, for getting my passengers here on time. Escalator's broken again. Yeah, you, you say lucky, like that's unusual in some fashion. Right, close them up. Uh, which side do I want? That one. Sure. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure it's that one. Regrettably, there are no in cab buttons for closing the doors. I do like an in cab button. For, no, 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 not the emergency brake. Oh, let's hope that that doesn't make me do some kind of convoluted restart paraphernalia let's just let the uh, the brake cylinders do their thing and uh, there we go right you good we're good all right try it we're away okay give it a honk oh yeah yeah that's a mighty honk for the ages oh apparently I've never done that before lies I have it's one of the first things I did it just it obviously didn't credit me with uh, my, or maybe it was uh, particularly enthralled with the level of honkitude that I applied. I think this guy's... I, I think they're broken. And that one's, that one's broken down. That's uh, most unfortunate. Alright, Terry! Come on, mate! Get it moving! Days of the wasting! I, I can't see him. I can't see anything. And I, I'm reliably informed that there's stuff out there. Uh, anyway, oh, I've just got some more points. That's solid. Uh, right, good. Just... Let's turn the jinglers off, and uh, we've got how long? Oh, seven or eight minutes to uh, to get to Route 128. Peachy. All right, we'll be there. Yeah, and also there's a, there's quite a lot of give in this timetable, and I like that because it means there's there's quite a lot of opportunity for me to uh, to get things wrong and then get them right a little bit later on. Anyway, let's uh, let's boot it and see how we get on going up this hill. It is a big train big train and uh, and therefore its acceleration and braking is uh, well it's it's leisurely let's let's say that much it's a, it's a you know, there's a leisurely braking system that, that goes on here and then we like that 
that it allows us to uh, to soak in the ambiance of the whole thing. We can now do 120. This I did this on my test run. Oi, that, I, was that a reciprocal honk there? That would be nice. I don't think it was. There you go, turbo boost. Right, I'm going to get down here. I'm going to turn this on. We're going to let the bell Doppler on past as we go through the mystery tunnel. I might be going a bit too fast by this point, but I reckon we'll be all right. There we go. Here we are. Up a little bit. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Dopplering on past there. Sweet as a nut. Okay, cool. Right, what are we doing? Uh, we're supposed to be doing 120. Oh, turn the interface back on. Oh, no, we're fine. Turn the flipping bell off. Smashing. Uh, <clears throat> I suppose I ought to introduce myself to, uh, to those who have chosen to ride with Batman today. Hello, passengers. I'm Ben Affleck, and I'm your driver uh, as we head out from Boston uh, to, uh, to Providence uh, aboard this. The uh, 0759 service calling at uh, Route 128 and Providence. Nowhere else, just those two. Those are the only two places we're going to stop. I'll be honest with you, it's more exciting when we stop in more places, but we're going to be moving at moderately exciting speed. Well, about as, about as exciting a speed as you get outside of an aircraft or driving off a cliff here in the uh, continental United States of America. So uh, why don't you sit back and, and relax and, and practice your Boston accents. Yeah, I know, I've, I've nailed it, so, uh, so you should try and keep up. Uh, next station stop is route 128. Uh, not, no, yeah, no, no, we're not stopping 127 today, just 128 where you can things with stuff. All right, I'll tell you something else I've observed, is that these signals are not very far apart, and therefore, uh, were I to encounter an adverse signal at some point, I would be, oh, what's the technical term for it? Hosed, I think, is the, uh, is the best way to describe it. I mean, I'm, I'm breezing along here. We've got five and a bit miles to go, and I've got four and a bit minutes to get there. And I'm doing 115 miles an hour. I know, I can go a bit faster than that. Uh, but, uh, but, I mean, that means that theoretically I should be on time. But if it wants me to stop before then, in fact, even if it wants me to stop then, uh, we're, we're likely to have some adventure. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's all good though. I, I have a I have a strong belief in both the machinery and myself as a as a, an able pilot, and uh, and that's good. Right, I'm going to start braking at two miles out. Now you might go, Phew, flipping it, Ben Affleck. That's a bit uh, that's a bit lightweight of you. I kind of go, no, 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 it's not. Now, I, I did this earlier, I tried braking from one mile out, and I missed by a lot. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to, I'm basically going to throw all the anchors out at two miles, and then we'll gently ease it in from about half a mile to go. Yeah. I hope it'll work. No idea. Oh, let's have a bit of this. See, that's, that's what they tell you to do in YouTube school, you know, is, uh, is change the camera angles up regularly so that your your viewer stays engaged. There you go, I'll change it up again. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then of course cut to a different picture of yourself from a slightly different angle, saying the same words again for extra emphasis. Here I am again from a slightly different angle, saying the same words again for slightly different emphasis. Okay, the tension's, tension's starting to build up now. And, uh, and we're, ooh, you know, we're getting close. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit nervy. I've even, I've even turned the throttle off. That's, that's how nervy I'm feeling. 2.3 miles to go. I think we'll be fine. Uh, these signals are good. Look at them. It's brilliant. Six red lights. I'm fine though, because they can't tell me what to do. Uh, basically, I'm in charge of my own dest destiny. Now. Oh, let's start braking. Okay. All right. There you go. I've, I've flung all the brakes on there. As you can see, the, uh, the rate of deceleration is, is pretty. Bad. Um, and uh, and that's that's fine. I've also got the uh, the old automatic brake on the on the throttle. Whoa, no, that's a reverse, you burke. Well, that would slow us down. What? Well, hold on, something has. Yeah. Oh, we've confused the heck out of the train. I think we might be sliding. Yep. Sweet. 
All right, well, I think we're going to slow down when no problem at all. We're doing zero miles per hour. Looks like it. Um, surely some kind of safety set. I think I might have just blown the gearbox. Oh, okay, that's not something I'd intended to happen, but I think it might help me accomplish the goal here today. Uh, right, let's put that in forwards. It's not interested. <laughs> have I ruined it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, oh, no, it's all right. Wheels are rolling again. All right, let's uh, let's get going. Well, it's nice to know the train will do that when it when it's required to do. Come on, hurry up! We're going to be late. We were almost on time there. What would have been perfect is if I'd executed that maneuver and we slid perfectly into the station. That would have just been total styling. Now, if I had more time available, because it would take a day to pull that off, if I had more time available, I would uh, I would do that for you. But. Uh, I've, I've just given you a suggestion for something to try at home. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, no, all the brakes are off. We've just got to do the very slow, methodical acceleration moment again. Oh, we've got to be there in, in seven seconds. Yeah, dream on. Yeah. Now, I don't... So, I mean, that's an inconsequential test, that one. Inconclusive, even. Um... I've got, I've got no evidence one way or the other whether braking at two miles out was the right manoeuvre or not. Because I then threw it in a reverse and the train went flipping heck, it means it. Uh, and, uh, and therefore we stopped. Yeah, I, you were possibly watching for that. I, I, can't, I can't guarantee one way or the other whether you were or not. Ah, that's good. Let's, let's give this guy a honk so that he goes, you're running a bit late. I go, that's no, alright, it's, all, uh, it's all intentional. You'll notice that I am using the double-fingered, uh, independent and automatic brake double bill braking system. Uh, I find it's a great way to get things done. Yeah, it really is one of the most effective ways to do anything is just, you know, deploy everything and, uh, and then hope it's going to be good. Right, you want to you wanna be going a bit slower here. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bit, bit slower. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. A little bit slower. There you go. Let's take the independent off. Right, let's do it all on the auto. No, drop the auto off. That's it. No, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. There you are. We're late already, but we're going to stop in the right flaming place. I'll tell you that for nothing. You've still got the power on. I know I've still got the power on with this. That's okay. That's okay. It's all good. All right, from nine miles per hour, I probably want to hammer the brakes on at about 20 yards. Okay. You reckon? You don't think that's going to bring you in shot? I think it might be 30 yards, you know. All right, we'll go 30 yards. Here we go. And now. There you go. That's everything. 20 yards. Okay. All right. Well, we know that now. For next time, we'll know that. If I happen to be doing the same kind of lethargic procedure in the next one. Yeah, we are. We are behind schedule now. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the, it's not the, end of the world. Uh, nobody's dead yet, so that's that's a good thing. All right, let's see what we've got going here. Uh, please do not hold the doors. You'll no, you shouldn't. These are slam doors. Oh no, they're not. They're slidey, slidey. My doors are slam door. Don't run. Come on, the next train will be along soon. Will it? Let's, uh, let's have a look. Uh, how long have I got? Well, you're you're only halfway through loading, but there's nobody here, and we're late, so they've had the chance. Uh, yeah, the next train will be along shortly, in 26 minutes. Yeah, you're, you're going to be late for work and possibly fired. Uh, so I would advise running. Fortunately, the entire train is in the station, so you can you can run from just about anywhere and there'll be a there'll be a car door open for you there and you can you can jump on in and have a rare old time. Right, close that up, sit in this one. Smash and close doors. Deploy brakes. Yeah. Surely that's undeploying the brakes. That amounts to the same thing, right? Activate the afterburners. Give it a toot. <laughs> the only reason I'll give it a toot, of course, is because the toot's great. Um, right, there you go. Punch it. Oh, bit of outside drama. Sure. Yeah. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be dramatic? I want to ride the school bus. I don't think you can. Oh, cornering. That's like Tokyo Drift levels of school bus action. There, yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, what do you want to do? Look, I'm going to stand outside my Passat. There you go. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful morning. Filled with people who are, are pulling the expression of someone who's about to go to a day's work. Knowing full well 
that they're not being paid for this part of their day's work. In fact, they're paying for this part of their day's work. They're on an overcrowded commuter service. And uh, it's costing them money to be on there. Money that they're then going to have to try and recoup in their first couple of hours at work. So what you're saying is that in the first four hours at work, um, you are, you're, you're just working to get back up to net zero. Yeah, and, well, it's more if, um, uh, if you had a coffee or, or picked up a newspaper or whatnot on the way in. Yeah, that's, you'd wonder why people did it. Well, they do it, Steve, because they have to. Uh, it's the uh, it's the modern it's the modern world. It's uh, the the life we we've all chosen to. Well, I don't think we chose it. Well, it it is to an extent. You trying to convince people to to just abandon their commute? Well, you know what? I think the planet would appreciate it. Uh, we've all got modern technology now, and uh, uh, one of the first things I'm going to do when I sweep to power. Oh, really? We're onto that, are we? Um, is uh, I might end up editing this bit out. I might, because uh, we don't do politics on this channel. Well, we, we do, but only in an insidious fashion. That's interesting. Um, yeah, us, that's interesting, because uh, we don't want to disenfranchise those whose political beliefs differ too widely from our own. I know we don't, because, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the Church of Trains is a, is a broad church and, and allows many people in. I haven't looked at the signal indicator in a while. I've, I've just done it now, and I think we're okay. That's that's good. Yeah. Also, I've got the, I've got us on max revs. Yeah. And we're doing 125. Okay. Well, that's the speed limit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. The issue is, I don't think this train wants to go any faster than 125. I think we're speed limited. So you're doing 126 now. Well, that happened perfectly on cue, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it really did. Well, we're coming. Providence Track 1 is, is our next stop, and we're not getting there for another 14 minutes or so. Crikey, however am I going to fill the time? If you're, if you're going to redact all of my, uh, my worthy notions on, uh, on the, you know, the world's uh, political stage and, and uh, all its merry you know, figments, uh, then, uh, then how are we going to fill the time? I could do a bit more of this. Or, oh, what, a YouTube changed camera angle? Yeah. Yeah, no, no the, the, the algorithm apparently really digs that. No, it doesn't. The algorithm does not dig that in the slides. What the algorithm digs is when people stick with the video for a long, a, a long amount of time. Because fundamentally, what that old YouTube algorithm rigorism, is there to do is to convince people to continue watching YouTube and nothing else. And therefore, if the algorithm can find a video that lots of people want to watch, and that video is the right length of time, What's the right length of time? Well, it's about 8 to 12 minutes. Have you looked at the run length of this video? I haven't finished it yet. Well, it's already at 20. Put that up to one side. Uh, it, if, you, if your video's of the right kind of length, so that uh, the old YouTube's there, they can, they can uh, sell lots of lovely adverts, uh, then, uh, then they're going to recommend it more. Especially if people are sticking with it throughout. Basically, if the videos you make keep people watching YouTube for longer, they're going to recommend you more. No. Yeah. Which is why they, they quite often recommend you view, videos that have been viewed for an awful lot of time by a whole ton of people. Because they go, well, these ones work. Is that so? Exactly. It is exactly so. It's like when you go into a supermarket, they put the stuff that sells the most clearly in your eye line. Because that's what you're looking for. That to the detriment, even, of, uh, of their own competing brand, which is probably cheaper, so they'll put that lower down. You will find the market leader is often in pride of place. Oh, yeah. Uh, frequently, brands will compete with one another in order to become the category leader in a supermarket. And what does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. A category gone thump it, we can go faster. Uh, the category leader uh, gets to lay out the shelves for that particular uh, section in the supermarket. Is really? If one were to take crisps, for example, or for our friends who are in the United States of America, potato chips, uh, then it would be the Walker's Company, or Lay's as they know it, I don't know why, um, it would be them that decide how the entire crisp section is laid out. But surely they're just going to put the competitors 
are out of sight. Not at all. If they were to make the competitors underperform, they would have category leadership taken away, and who knows, maybe it would be the purveyors of Monster Munch. Isn't that Walkers again? It might be uh, who would decide the layout instead, because as, uh, as the category manager, it is accepted that, yes, you may dominate this marketplace. Hang on. There you go. Good work algorithm. But at the same time, uh, you do have to make sure that your competitors perform as well. Ultimately, it comes down to consumer choice. If the consumer prefers com uh, 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 crisp version A, in brackets, potato chip, uh, versus version B, that's on them. But you get to lay it out for everybody to maximise the overall sales of crisps. Yeah, but you're British. You eat crisps as part of, like, you know, every meal. Yes, we do, British-wise, uh, have the highest consumption of crisps, in brackets, potato chips, uh, than, uh, than anyone else in the world. I need to check that, but it is, in fact, very high. Uh, someone, f fact check this, someone. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, good. Um, right, how did you get onto this topic? I've absolutely no ruddy idea. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's category management is like the YouTube algorithm. All right. Now, at the time, that felt like a really good segue to be making. But retrospectively, I'm not 100% certain of how those two things link together. I'm sure everybody who's made it this far followed us down the garden path there and went, yeah, 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 I see. That's interesting. I didn't know that about category management. Okay, that's... You've maybe, you've maybe banged on about the subject a little bit too long now, but, but at the same time, no, that's good. I've got more knowledge now than I had uh, previously. Uh, the, the reason I know this, of course, is that I once worked for a video game company that had category management in Tesco, and, uh, and we got a little talk about how that worked, and uh, it's, all, it's all jolly interesting. So Because they, they don't want you to, uh, to undersell... Uh, the uh, your competitors, you have to kind of respect your competitors and, and position them in accordance with what's going to sell the most. You're going to hit a lamppost. That's fine. You are, look, you're going to, how many more can I hit? Well, if you angle it a little bit like this, all of them, I reckon. I want to, I want to bounce the camera around in a wrong way. No, it's allowed you, allowing you to do ghost camera. Well played, developers, well played. Historically, of course, that wouldn't have happened. No, no, no. Historically, we'd, we'd be bouncing around until we all had some kind of collective seizure about that. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's how I know about category management. <laughs> I don't know that it is walkers slash lays who look after the uh, crisps in bracket potato chips uh, segments in supermarkets. It, it can even... It, it varies from chain to chain, right? So, uh, so your Sainsbury's is going to have a different category manager to your uh, to your Tesco, the reason they outsource it to the companies is because those companies know that segment of the market better than oh, I've got an email. Uh, know that part of the market better than anybody else. Therefore, why wouldn't you put it in their hands? It's true. Well, except of course that you know corporations are inherently. Again, I had to mute you on this one a minute ago. Have I, have I definitely edited that out? Yes, I think you have. Really? It was quite good. No, people are going to... No, people will differ. You're going to allow that people who, who back you to watch the full uh, unedited version? No, I don't think I am. I think I broke a cardinal rule there, and therefore we won't be doing that. That means you've got to watch the whole of this video back when you edit it. Yes, but I do that every time anyway. Um, right, good. Okay, onwards into the... What? Oh, I'm over. Hang on, things are changing. Uh, the business is occurring. All right, I'll put... I'm going to try the, the combined power handle braking system and see if that accomplishes anything. Let's give it, like, B-Max, which is a new model from Ford. Yeah. It's, uh, it's almost a quarter of a mile long, and, uh, and yet you still haven't got quite enough room for your luggage in the back. There you go. That's got it. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Be like that. Exceed, extend the speed limit again. No, that's fine. I can handle it. I'm not significantly over the speed limit. I was a minute ago, but I'm not now. No, no. Now I'm I'm Johnny Laura biding. Six miles to go. Yes. Yeah. And eight minutes to get there. Right. Do 120 miles an hour. 
you know what that means it means that in two miles there's a severe speed limit change coming up all right okay let's start let's ease it down now and not use the reverse throttle maneuver to uh to slow us you sure i thought that was quite cool it was but it was also unintentional and very uncontrolled true rather like your dialogue today i don't i sense that uh i need more stations all right here's one oh, okay fair point eat this woohoo wakey wakey there commuters hey go down we've got the camera doing its jiggery pokery that's what we like to see there you are turn the bell off um yeah okay and we've got a yellow coming up as well i see it i see it i see it. we've got a mile to the 60. all right turn the brakes back off what are you going to do well we're, we're on a down bubble at the moment so uh, i'm just going to coast but since we've got a yellow coming up it means that we should anticipate a red coming up shortly afterwards you reckon yeah maybe not this time but soon yeah there's going to be some clown going slowly ahead of us okay you know best i do know best and i quite like this uh, this run not to end in total disaster that's green okay that's not a signal i was anticipating why are we still slowing down i've got the throttle on uh, it's because you're you're in, you're putting a brake on you idiot oh yeah of course you know what? Ah, ah, yeah, ah, da. Oi, my 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 co-workers and developmental friends. This this is why I often put the brakes on the wrong way. Accelerate, go fast. Hold on, no, I'm about to contradict myself. Never mind. Well, actually, no, not never mind. It depends if you think of things as being more or less, right? If you want more throttle, then you go to the left of the two throttle buttons. If you want more brake. You go to the right on the more brake buttons. That's if you think of it in terms of being more or less. Now, if you think about it in going faster or slower, then faster to the left, slower to the right. But again, I would disagree with that because your instinct is going to be you go to the right to go faster rather than the left. And that's why I keep pressing the wrong button. Right, I need to reshape my thinking. Oh, this is a learning exercise. It would have been more of a learning exercise if you kept your politics in. No, 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 no. No, we're not, we weren't going to do that. Yeah. I mean, it was all going fine. They, they were mostly with you when you were talking about free travel and uh, and free electricity for everybody. Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's the point where you started mentioning uh, wars and, 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 and all of that kind of business that, that people would have gone, oh, no, oh, oh, I can't, I can't get behind any of this, accuracy or otherwise. Right, uh, what are we talking about? 3.6 miles to go to Providence. And we've got four minutes to get there and we're doing 60. Now, uh, theoretically, that should be doable. But we don't know We don't know what's going to happen. Oh, hold on, I'm, I'm now over the speed limit. Yeah, I started accelerating immediately before I had to start decelerating. And of course, we've still got that cheeky red signal coming up that I'm anticipating with all of my many anticipatory juice flow systems. Yeah, that sounds rude. It is a bit okay yeah all right it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine is it yeah it is you sure well yeah school bus oh i want to see a corner well hold on and what have you got what's going on here what you can't turn the hud off because you need to know what's going on but we can try and get a combi shot school bus and train oh this is on some kind of highway there you go combi shot school bus train that's actually a quite a nice shot. It is quite a nice shot. You're not wrong. You know what? This is the kind of setup that you do when you're uh, when you're transport fevering. So have your road running uh, directly parallel with the uh, with the train. It is. You're saying that I make attractive uh, transport networks. Well, yeah. I mean, it's self-assessment, so it doesn't really count. But yeah, fundamentally, I am. All right. This one's going to be close. Two miles to go. We don't need to do the two mile slowdown here. No, I think we can. 60 miles an hour. Yeah, let's go from about one mile. But you're probably going to want full anchors at that point. You may even need to do the reverse course special. I don't think anybody should be doing a reverse course special. You're going to damage a very expensive piece of hardware, not to mention the railhead. 
The railhead should be fine. You're just sliding, uh, sliding along the top of a, a pre-polished setup there. Yeah, I know, but you can't, you can't be absolutely certain that uh, that you're not causing damage along the way, especially if it gets very, very hot, because you've got a lot of carriages riding over the top of that, and uh, the friction is going to build up some temperature. Yeah, you don't know anything about this, do you? I know very little about it. You, you caught me on that one. Uh, it, that wasn't much of a catch, I'll be honest. I mean, that, it wasn't challenging. No. Anyway, this is nice. It's leafy, and there's there's buildings and tracks and stuff. Oh, that's a that's an exciting looking corner. Yeah, and we're chasing yellow signals the entire way. Yeah, but we see we're we're not pushing it to seventy every time, and therefore I think we've got a fighting chance. You've got half a mile till a thirty. Uh, well, I know how we're going to make up the time. What? By not slowing down. It's, uh, it's an interesting notion. Let's see how it works. That's a corner to take at speed. Yep, that one will twist your head off if you're doing 100. But, uh, well, yeah, it might also flip the train off. Uh, in what way? The, the train will come off track. I see. Not the other meaning of flip the train off. We are in America. They know what that means. Oh, yeah. Okay, valid. Uh, also, your stop's coming up. Oh, crikey, yeah, I should probably get a wriggle on. Yeah, yeah. I distracted myself by thinking uh, about stuff and things. Asleep. This is fine. It is fine, you're right. Yeah, we're, we're also even doing a speed limit, which you said you probably weren't going to do. Oh, it's madness. It's mad. What's what, what, what on earth is happening? you got 20 seconds. You're going to make it? Nope. But I'll be within a minute. Unless something very dramatic happens in a short amount of time. Well, there you go. In 400 yards. Yes. So it's, it's the end of the station. It's the end of the platform. You'll be fine. Okay. Be quiet. It's going to be It's gonna be fine. All right. Bit of minimum application at 200 yards. No, no. From 25? No, no, no. No, you were doing it from 9 last time when you went at 30. Oh, yeah. More break. Yeah. More break. Yeah. You've got this. You've got this. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. All the brakes. That's the stuff. Golden. Six yards. Five. Five yards. Near enough. How late were we? Ah, negligible. Brilliant. We might actually be at the end of the run, you know. No. Said it was a 39-minute run. How long have we been going? 41 minutes. How late were we? Pfft. Negligible. Okay. I think we have finished the run. Hey, what? Well, close the windows. Is that the way we celebrate these days? Oh yeah, undoubtedly. Right, I'll open the doors. Uh, that way we can uh, we could choose which side to get out of. I know which side you should get out of. Oh yeah, because uh, I don't think this goes as I think the train goes as far as Roanoke, but uh, you're not invited. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Tasty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, hot journal. Oh no, I could have made I could have made all kinds of comments about that. Gone him. Well, I mean, since OnlyFans has changed its business model, well, there you go. I'd inadvertently selected a uh, timetable service there that uh, is. I mean, it's lovely if you just want to, you know, crank it and then watch the countryside go past for twenty minutes. It's really nice. In terms of filling that time with compelling commentary, however, as you as you may or may not have noticed, we uh, we we deviated from talking about trains there to talking about all kinds of business, some of which didn't make the cut. Um, so, uh, so no, there you are. I apologise. I I try and choose ones where where peril is uh, is ever present and where I've got the opportunity to experiment, uh, nay, science uh, things with trains. I'll, I'll science some things with trains next time. Uh, th this was good, though. Uh, it's it's a good train to drive because the brakes are awful. Uh, well, it's not that the brakes are awful. It's a very long train, and therefore it takes some time to slow down. Uh, first time I gave it a spin, got to the first station, went flying through it. I had to back up the track. And I go, oh, I wonder if this is going to fail me. It didn't. Um, and I went, <laughs> uh, should have recorded that, really, shouldn't I? That would have been fun to watch, unlike this, which was, I mean, it had... Had some nice shots of, of trains going on in there, and uh, and therefore, you know, you probably got quite a lot out of it. I'd got another bit that I was going to edit out. Uh, 